Today we are going to talk about one of the main sculptures or monuments you see around Goshen, the Orange Blossoms Monument. Monuments in general have been around in the U.S. since the end of the Revolutionary War. The first one was a marble sculpture of George Washington done by a French artist for the state capital in Richmond, Virginia. Public sculptures like these are meant to represent patriotic pride and were often paid for by public fundraising. Between the Civil War and World War I, the metal bronze, which is a mix of copper and tin, was very popular for sculptures. Artists would first create a sculpture out of wax, which is soft and easy to work with, and then they'd cover the wax sculpture with plaster. When that was dry, they could heat up the plaster mold to melt out the original wax sculpture, and then they could pour molten bronze into the mold and create either a solid or hollow bronze version of the sculpture. Bronze sculptures from this time period were very literal and meant to capture a moment. Custom designed stone pedestals were also very common, and most of these sculptures were located in parks, squares, or cemeteries. So the history behind the Orange Blossoms Monument is that it's in memory of the New York 124th Volunteer Infantry Regiment from the Civil War. As the regiment name implies, no one was drafted. They all chose to enlist knowing full well the dangers. Their nickname was the Orange Blossoms because they were from Orange County and they wore an orange ribbon through their buttonhole in their uniform so they'd recognize each other quickly in battle. The regiment was created in 1862 and one of the men in charge of recruiting the soldiers was William Jackson who was quickly promoted to captain. He was from Hamptonburg and his home was the stone house at Hillhold Farm that is still there. He helped set up Camp Wickham, which is where the Orange County building is today. Uh, and it went all the way up the hill to where the C.J. Hooker Middle School is. They erected five huge 100 foot by 40 foot barracks and they were constructed with a bunch of other smaller buildings, all of which are gone today. They gathered over 1,000 troops and trained them right in Goshen. And on September 6, 1862, the Orange Blossoms marched right down Main Street, where the monument is, to the train station. This is why the monument is pointed in the direction of the old train station. The troops were loaded onto the train and headed south. They fought in 43 Civil War battles, such as Fredericksburg, Chancellorville, and Gettysburg. There's another Orange Blossom monument at Gettysburg, on the spot where their Colonel Ellis was killed. Captain Jackson made it through all of those battles and was only hit by a stray bullet that had ricocheted off something else before hitting his belt buckle. This doubled him over, but he was otherwise fine. They would go on to encircle Petersburg, Virginia to try to gain control of a railroad hub there. The Orange Blossoms began bombarding the Petersburg earthworks, which are like forts, uh, with artillery and moving forward. Captain William Jackson was leading his men in the charge when he was shot just above the heart and he died instantly when he was just 25. His name is one of the um, names on the bronze plaques along with the other 248 soldiers killed in action that are on the stone base of the Orange Blossoms Monument. The remaining Orange Blossoms were at the Appomattox Courthouse when General Lee surrendered on April 9th in 1865. The monument at Gettysburg to the Orange Blossoms was put up in 1884 but after uh, Orange County resident and author Stephen Crane wrote Red Badge of Courage, people felt that they should have a monument in Goshen. So the statue was designed by Theo Rugel's Kitson and called the Standard Bearer. The Orange Bo Blossom Standard Bearer carries no rifle uh, and his saber is sheathed and he just carries a flag of the nation as he marches into battle. The statue was dedicated on September 5th 1907, 45 years after the regiment was mustered, and its dedication was attended by many of the veterans in the unit. 